So here we have from the uh, the Telegraph uh, Science uh, article called uh, "Oldest Fossil Ever Found on Earth, Dating Back 4.2 Billion Years," shows alien life on Mars is likely. Now, just real quick, uh, the, in the last few days, at where I work at, I work at a, a staging area and basically a truck yard for a uh, Japanese uh, truck manufacturer. But at any rate, out in the uh, parking lot here, or the, the gravel parking lot, uh, we've been noticing a lot of uh, fossilized rocks in the yard. So I've somehow uh, got a sudden ha a habit or a hobby, I should say, of uh, collecting these fossils, which I'll almost show you some here in just a moment, but uh, getting back to the um, this article real quick. So as you can see here, this is written by Sarah Knapton, their science editor. It's life, but not as we know it. The oldest fossil ever discovered on Earth shows that organisms were thriving 4.2 billion years ago hundreds of millions of years earlier than previously thought. The microscopic bacteria, which were smaller than the width of a human hair, were found in rock formations in Quebec, Canada, but would have lived in hot vents in the 140 degrees Fahrenheit oceans, which covered the early planet. Now I'm scrolling down here to an image of what is uh, the deemed as the microscopic image of one of the earliest life forms ever found. Now in this article they're also talking about try, uh, connecting it in with possible life on Mars, but uh, you can uh, check this article out for yourself to read about that. Now right here also scrolling further down, here's some other image, especially cons um, focus especially in the uh, bottom right hand corner that image right there you can tell uh, they look like little tubes or something which is very important which based on something I'm going to show you here in just a moment now let's scroll in down here once again uh, we see that the uh, the tiny life forms were discovered in the Nevaquitic supercrustal belt in Quebec Canada I'm sorry I messed that up but which contains some of the oldest sedimentary rocks in the world. Dating back to 4.3 billion years ago when the area was an iron rich ocean. And just here's a map here of where the fossil was found right all along the, uh, looks like the eastern shores of the Hudson Bay there. And as you can see further down the organisms would have resembled small tubes with a ball-like base which struck, uh, stuck to the ocean rocks and a stalk suspended in the water to collect iron on which they fed. I remember that when I show you some fossils I found. But uh, they are similar to iron oxidizing bacteria found near other hydrothermal vents today. We found the filaments and tubes inside centimeter sized structures called concretions or nodules, said Dr. Dominique Papineau. He's with the uh, UCL Earth Sciences and the London Center for Nanotechnology. And here we see another image where the, in a similar environment where the, uh, these microscopic uh, fossils were actually found. And so once again, here's the uh, landscape of the Novogothic Supercrustal Belt, a rock formation in Quebec, Canada. And it also goes on to say further that the fact we unearthed them from one of the oldest known rock formations suggests we found direct evidence of one of the Earth's oldest like forms. The discovery helps us piece together the history of our planet and the remarkable excuse me the remarkable life on it and will help to identify traces of life elsewhere in the universe and here is yet another image 
showing a section of the rock showing the tiny fossils inside. And as you can see here, and I'm actually at the truck yard right now. I'm actually looking at a what appears to be a fossil, some fossil of some kind. And actually, you can kind of tell it has like little tube-like uh, structure uh, in it. As you can see here, they're all connected. I don't know if you can see that. You can actually just literally walk out here, keep your eyes on the ground, and actually find stuff like that. At any rate, I picked up a bunch of these fossils here in this uh, truck yard, as you can see. And over there is actually the Hino uh, truck plant over there. But uh, at any rate, you just walk around and actually find them scattered all over the place in Williamstown, West Virginia. Now, here are some fossilized rocks that I brought home and cleaned up to make them look better. So you can see some of those tiny little organisms encrusted in there, as you can see. There's are some more right there that uh, have more of that tube-like structure. So you can see there it's a bigger piece. And they're all clustered together, of course, obviously. And then, let's see, we've got some more. That there, critter right there is kind of a spongy looking. It looks like it, looks like it came from a, like a coral reef or something. But, um, uh, there eight. So I'm just kind of scanning over some of these right now so you can have a little peek at them here real quick. I got a really super awesome one I'm going to show you here and I'm going to save it for last. But, um, so you can see some of the design or the pattern, of course. Out there is sort of like a, uh, almost like a spongy looking rock or something. But, and that little thing right, that little, little thing right here, inside on the side of that rock right there, almost looks like a little snail shell or something sticking, poking out of it. So, uh, so that's pretty interesting. And then got some, a couple of them there right, right there, look like eyeballs or something. And and of course, I got some right here as well. And these are smaller. Get down in there so you can see them better. But, uh, there's another similar structures right there, as you can see. Uh, let's see here. And then I got this really neat one. Well, here's a really dazzling one. This little rock right here has all kinds of. Uh, it's almost like its own little galaxy of organisms fossilized inside of it. Now I'll flip it over here so you can see there's little tiny um, patterns, there's little you know swirly looking shapes. Those are all each of their own individual um, organism, whatever kind of organisms they were of course, but uh, pretty awesome stuff right there. So like I said all these ones here I found uh, the at the truck yard at, um, in Williamstown. Now here's my really good one. Now this here I actually did not find at the truck yard. I've, I've actually had this for many years. I actually found this in Ohio in, uh, near Mar uh, Marietta. It was actually in a friend's uh, uncle's driveway. It had all these rocks in his driveway and we just looked down and saw it and they let me have it of course. So it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome looking critter right there. Obviously, out there was some.